And thanks for joining us this afternoon. I'm Natalie Hurst. And I'm Brent Hunsaker. For the first time, we're hearing from CenturyLink. That's the company that's been providing broadband to Idaho schools. Eric Gonzalez explains why the company says Idaho schools will not be unplugged from the Internet this week, even though a judge ruled the state's broadband contract is illegal in our legislative watch. CenturyLink says they're working with the governor and state leaders to keep internet connections going to Idaho schools, even though they haven't been paid in several months. CenturyLink will not be shutting down the IEN on February 22nd. Ever since a judge ruled a contract with the Education Networks of America is illegal, CenturyLink can't get paid for being an internet service provider to Idaho schools. Despite that, CenturyLink isn't pulling the plug on connections to schools. We committed to working with the governor, state leaders, and ENA to find a path forward that continues providing these essential services without interruption to Idaho students and teachers. We haven't promised anything to them in return. They are really doing it because they care about the schools and care about the students, and we appreciate them for that. Lawmakers say they're in negotiations with CenturyLink to continue service. Meanwhile, they're pushing a bill that will let school districts find their own Internet providers through the current school year. In fact, I understand it's already passed the House and, and will probably be passed by the Senate in the next day or two so that we can reimburse those schools for it directly. While CenturyLink and state lawmakers are hashing out the details of having internet service for the rest of the school year, students say they're just glad that their connections aren't going to be blacked out. The ones that do have like classes that require laptops and whatnot, uh, they, they are pretty upset about it because it interferes with their classwork and whatnot. Some students say they didn't realize until this week that there was even an issue with their internet connection at school. I think that's really that's the word, generous of them because it really helps a lot of the kids' academics. Under the new bill, CenturyLink could bid to be the service provider for school districts and get paid through the end of the school year, but not for the service they have already provided. Back to you.